With Wednesday's Telegraph and mermaids being accused of homophobia, not the uh, marine mythical creatures. No, no, this is a, a trans, a children's trans charity, which, yeah. uh, you know, those, are, those aren't two words that should really go together, I think. <laughs> I think transitioning is for when you've, you know, got a bit more of understanding of yourself and life. But anyway, so the uh, mermaids trans charity has uh, taken uh, the LGB Alliance, which is a sort of... Uh, uh, gay, pure, gay rights group. Gay rights group, but you know, a purist one that, that just focuses on the actual, you know, same sex sex attraction. Which used to be what gay meant. Which is what you know, <laughs> what, sort of what it was, yeah, uh, before it became LGBTQIA plus 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 PP two S A A etc. A lot of yes. a lot of letters. Uh, they need to decolonise that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, so this tribunal's uh, ongoing, and uh, it's not going too well for mermaids. They they kicked it all off, but it's it's sort of back backfired on them. Uh, so now the tribunal has heard that uh, the mermaids attempt to shut down the LGB alliance, the gay charity, is profoundly homophobic. Um, so they're asking, uh, they're asking for judges to strip the LGB alliance of its uh, charitable status, saying it's a front for transphobia. Uh, but during the hearing, mermaids themselves suggested that words like sexual orientation, sex-based rights and lesbian, gay and bisexual... Uh, were used to signal a uh, position against trans rights rather yeah. than, you know, having the inherent meaning, which they obviously do. But that's because gender identity ideology is predicated on this idea that, that lesbian, gay, bisexual, that all of these things are, are essentialist and therefore yep. are dog whistles... Uh, for transphobia because they're, they're rooted in biological sex. Yes, right? some people say, uh, oh, I'm gay, that means I want to have sex with, uh, with, a, with a biological male man, yeah. rather, not a male man, not a postman, but like, <laughs> somebody who's biologically <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. A, somebody who's biologically female but identifies as a man. So, uh, so mermaids say that's transphobic, you know, you yes. should have, or if you're a woman, a, a lesbian, you should, you should have sex with uh, women with penises and stuff. And obviously, you know, not all people are comfortable. How did we get this farther? I mean, Kerry, look, my problem with this very much so, is, you know, I've met the people involved with LGB Alliance. It's run by two very, very nice lesbians who, who have been at the forefront of gay activism for many decades. One of them was part of the Gay Liberation Front, the other part of Stonewall. These are not bigots. These are not transphobes. And, and Mermaids has just decided that they are. There's no evidence, by the way, but they just say that they are. And everything's a, a dog whistle or, or, you know, everything's a, a extraordinary. Front. I, th I think... I, I I think this is uh, it's just not happened before we've had two charities fighting it out in Mad. this way, you know, yeah. in a court case. Like robot wars. Um, yeah, totally. <laughs> and, and also you'd think that... So this is based on some new ideas that surely people should be discussing rather than well, getting this angry about and uh, everyone seeing harm in every, every single but direction. It, yeah. But it's interesting because mermaids were the ones that took the case against LGB Alliance to have them stripped sure. of their charity status. But, it's come back on but them. now it's come back on them because now we've suddenly discovered that mermaids have been sending dangerous breast binders to underage girls without their parents' consent. Mm, absolutely. They've had someone who, one of their trustees was writing articles that seemed to imply that he was an apologist for paedophilic desire. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mermaids kind of brought this on themselves, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely. And the, their whole sort of core message is that, uh, you know, homosexuality, they're basically denying the existence of homosexuality because they say uh, it should just be attraction between genders and, you know, gender is separate to separate to biological sex, whereas the LGB Alliance, you know, say you can't change your biological sex, which is also the, the attitude of uh, scientists. Scientists, uh, those transphobes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the thing, like, um, gay men aren't attracted to people who identify as men, they're attracted to men. It's not That's called, just the reality. Yeah, it's not called homogenderality, it's right. homosexuality. But it's difficult to say, so yeah, it's probably yeah. a bad idea. Any final thoughts on that, Kerry? No, just so I think it, 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 the ideas aren't really as big a problem as the intimidation that's going with these ideas and these, these ideals. And it's also that it should be... A, a, experimenting with what we are and identity should be more fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it's, and it's where it's going right now. I think the idea originally was, was to, to break down all the constructions and we've ended up with so many more constructions that people in the future will complain about. There's about 100 genders now and there's, uh, there's people who are cake, cat gender and cake gender, yeah. which yeah. I'm not going to make fun of. There's no way I'm ever going to make make fun of someone who thinks they're a cake. No. That's, not, that's just not nice, is do, it? No. But I, I think the you, well, you, you should eat, eat them. You, eat you them. lick off their icing. <laughs> you get angry with the doctor who assigned them as a, as a, a boy rather than a cake, because a professional should be able to recognise I mean, a cake. It is, it. I agree, Kerry. It is very confusing, because gender is clearly a massive social construct and completely fluid, but you also have to have surgery to get yourself fixed if you've got a different gender identity. Anyway.